Hi there and welcome to another interactive, fun-filled edition of Springboard Hangout. This is your program where we have fun and learn about different aspects of life. Now today we are continuing our Entrepreneurship 101 series. You know last week we looked at um, lacing your boots and we had our Venerable Franklin Owusu in, in, in studio, Owusu Kakari in studio and she, he taught us so much. Today he's back in because the, the, the feedback was really, really big. So today we are going to deliberate on ideation. My name is Comfort Okran and I'm glad to have you here tonight. This series is a six part series that we are doing in partnership with, I mean, with, um, I mean, we, we, we're having the National Entrepreneurship Enterprise and Innovation Program helping us do it. Um, you know, when we talk about ideas, Herman Melville believes that it is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitating. Therefore, is that true? Or not that is what we'll be dealing with today I'm very grateful that you can join us today and I would like to encourage you invite your friends to be here especially those who are thinking or have always wondered would I succeed being an entrepreneur call them let them come so we'll listen to our to, to, to be part of this um, um, I, um, ideation process and in fact last week we actually challenged you to go and do a quiz that we call the entrepreneurial competency test many of you filled those things and they are detailed down here and i would like to thank those who sent not just they, gave, they didn't give us just their feedback but they also sent us questions i mean like um, telling us paths that they would do they would like to um, develop behaviors that they would like to develop and we're going to it during the program therefore Welcome again to Springboard Hangout. This is the ideation process. And don't go anywhere. Call your friend. Let us know where you're joining us from and tell us what would you like to learn about ideation in today's program. God bless you as we come right back after this break. Hello, I'm Israel Lai, and this week I'm in the engine room. I'm going to share part of my story you've never, ever heard before. So tune in to Springboard Virtual University. Get me your to a car. I need a car in 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Jake. Jake Morris, and I travel globally. But when I'm in Ghana, York's rent a car is my reliable choice for safety and comfort on the road. York's rent a car provides comprehensive logistic services to mainly blue chip companies as well as individual clients. At the time, we needed a car rental service, and York's fitted in very well by our standards. Their services is top notch. Drivers are on time. It was beautiful to see them behind the wheels. And anytime they pick up a guest, the guests were very very happy. Already? Yes. Excellent. York's rent a car provides services and expertise that include meet and greet services at the airport, car rental, driver personal outsourcing, and vehicle detailing. Go. What, what's the problem? It's you. I told you. York's rent a car delivers world class service to its customers, having their highest safety and comfort in mind. So, watch you. Two of us are open for him. York's rent a car runs 24 7 operations where customers can make car reservations and inquiries of our services online and also call our hotline. Highly spiritual. I Lord, you said in Isaiah, you never sleep, you know the tire. Lord, it's you that I desire. 
Anything you do, you know fi play. Eh, 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 yeah. You know go do me, yeah. Yeah, you know go do me, yeah. Eh, eh, no, 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 yeah. You know go do me, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, you know go do me, yeah. Eh, eh. And there are times that I feel lonely, lonely, yeah. And there's no one to help, no one to hold. You're faithful to the end, Lord. So you answer when I pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know go do me, yeah. Yeah, you know go do me, yeah. No, no, yeah. You know go do me, yeah. Yeah, you know go do me, yeah. Um, I trust in you, not a little. This word drives me not to moto. Praise you, God, I bow. I go to, go to, go to. Put my trust in you, not to loto. Faith, this word drives me not to moto. Praise you, God, I bow. I go to, go to, go to. Yawa, no, no, yawa. Yawa, never. Welcome back, and I'd like to say happy birthday to Jeffany. Today is your 18th birthday, and we will celebrate you in the Springboard Hangout Studios today. Well done, and we know that you really, really go far in life. And um, today, I also choose to dedicate today's program to my sister, Mrs. Nami uh, Mate Niwintum. You passed away a week today, and um, you taught me so much. I lived with you in some, uh, during some part of my, my life, and you were the ultimate entrepreneur. You had a sewing business and you sold clothes for people all over and you were able to build houses, train people over the years. Today we stand together to salute you, Mrs. Nami Mate. May you rest peacefully in the arms of your Lord. Amen. And with that, we go in search and help those who are now about to start their entrepreneurial journeys. Last week, we looked at lacing your boots. Today, we are looking at ideation. You brought us a nice word, ideation. What is ideation? Well, uh, good evening to our viewers and all those out there. The great entrepreneurs that are coming up, it's a desire to always for me share with uh, the young people and even the older people who are beginning to think mm -hmm. and beginning to put uh, their thinking into action. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm happy to be here again. Ideation is simply generating ideas okay. and sifting them for you to be able to turn them into a viable venture or business or to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. That's about ideation. So today we are going to look at, as we are thinking to begin to create businesses, Businesses are created around ideas. Mm -hmm. So how do we begin to generate the ideas in the first place? Uh, how do we serve them to be able to get the right ones that will be able to help propel us to be able to run good businesses? And that's what you're going to discuss today. And I'm sure some people are thinking like, I have some money. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't know how to generate ideas. I think by the end of this show, we should be able to learn something and go through the process. Okay, so then um, one of the things I realize that you are talking about is the fact that businesses start with ideas. Yes. How? You know, every business starts with solving a need. They start with solving a need. Yes. Okay. You know, uh, when you solve a problem, mm -hmm. you are in business. 
And where there are problems, it means there's a business. So I tell people when they are complaining, where problems are means money is there. Where problems are, that means money is there. Actually, it brings me to an idea that um, sometimes I, I had um, a friend of mine say that um, there's, there's actually money in gutters. Yes. And it's you looking into the gutter to find out where is the money in that gutter yes. and making it. Okay, so let's, not, let, let's, let's take it out of the gutter and, and, and start and, and break it down a little. Where is the starting All right, point? so when I look at, okay, now... You know, when we started, people wanted to drink water when they're outside their home. Okay. And then somebody said, mm, you can't be carrying water around you. Those days, water bottles were not common. So people said, okay, we can put the water in the buckets mm -hmm. and put some ice in it. Then when you need it, you can fetch from a cup. Then there people, are some people who have never seen that before. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> those who were born in the 1992, you know, they, 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 they have not before. seen that before. Actually, I, I remember Albert did, did it once, and um, he was so good at it that when he did it, <laughs> all the water poured <laughs> all over. You know, the, the girls were good. They oh. can fetch it and not, nothing will drop. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, you can get 20 people drinking from one and cup. You can imagine what would have happened in this COVID era. Yes, this COVID okay. era. So somebody <laughs> said, even with that, somebody said, no, we have to be innovative. So mm -hmm. they started putting lemon and lime in the water so they can use to rinse the map, the edge of the cup. Okay. So then it went to someone said, hmm, I think we, this, we can make it more mobile by tying it in a rubber. So we brought the penny, the penny, mm -hmm. you know, that mm -hmm. concept came up. So gradually the bucket thing left. Yeah. Then somebody said, no. Nah. There's a problem. You know, this rubber thing is not really unique. It's not slick enough. It's interesting. There are some people, the favorite place for idea generation mm -hmm. is when they are in their washroom. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Some yes. people when they are taking a shower, some others when they are in the toilet. They, they, they begin to, because at that place, uh, disturbances are low. Some people when they are traveling mm -hmm. on a journey, they look around and see that, oh, no, this thing, it can work. Sometimes by traveling to another place, uh, sometimes in your community, Mm -hmm. You can decide, take a, a, a walk around your community okay. and search around. What are people crying about? What are people queuing for? What are people trying to work around that they are not getting solutions to? So that begins, uh, it, 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 it start brainstorming. Mm -hmm. So ideation comes with some form of brainstorming for you to be able to, and you need to be able to write them down yeah. when the idea comes. So for me, I, I carry myself with a, a small notepad when I, I, an idea drop by, I just write it down. So when you pass through your community, you identify, and when we say community, we don't only mean uh, the area you are staying. Sometimes your, your local, where you are staying, the region you find yourself, the district you find yourself, Ghana as a whole can become a community. Africa as a whole can become a community. So look at what are people crying about? Can I find solutions to? What are people dying for? The, the, this lady, Mm -hmm. that uh, we, we, we mentored. And she had a national service in one of the hospitals in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And through the lab, they realized that most of the staff in the hospital were diagnosed of later, uh, they're getting can certain cancers. And they realized it was coming from the ray, the x-ray machine and then the MRI machines they were working with. Oh. So she began to research and she discovered that was a, a problem. And she developed an attire, an outfit that when you wear uh, to the lab, it repels all these rays. And it's able to save you from uh, getting these uh, uh, ray infection. And with that, she got a social enterprise of about $100,000 to implement that project. So idea comes into your mind. A problem is existing. Instead of complaining about it, when you begin to take steps to be able to brainstorm around it, these are the places to begin to generate the solutions that will lead to businesses. 
Right. So the idea doesn't the, the idea is in the environment, environment, if I hear you very well. Yes. And therefore the more you interact with the mm -hmm. environment, the more you are able to see what is what is needed. Yeah. And therefore, you can um, say, okay, possibly I'll generate, I'll, I'll generate um, this thing. But then, if you just walk about in the, in the environment and then you see um, where, where, what will therefore make connect water? What will help you connect the need for water to the need to create an, a business? All right. Uh when you, when you work, work through, you see, if you are somebody who has trained the mind to look out for opportunities, you easily identify. So you go through places, you yourself may be suffering from that. Let's say your community, people find it difficult to have a place uh, to ease themselves. And you see them easing around the environment. Quickly, you say, no, so how do we find a solution to this problem of people easing around the environment? Okay, so let, if I have them, let, let me begin to see. Will people be ready to pay for if there's a public uh, washroom here, public toilet here? Will people be ready to pay for that kind of service? And when, when you put yourself through that and you realize that, no, people, will, first of all, is there a problem? Mm -hmm. Yes, there's a problem. People don't have a place uh, uh, to ease themselves. Okay, fine. Will the community members... Are they looking for solutions? Probably, yes. You search through and said, no, they are looking for a solution. Okay, why are they not solving it? Probably they have not come, they don't have the means. Then you begin to go into action. And after screening through and knowing exactly that these are the things that people will need, you ask yourself again, would they be ready to pay for it or they want it for free? If they want this for free, they'd be ready to undertake a community, social community project. But if people will be ready to pay for it to have a place, then you are in business of providing a convenient place of people paying for to ease themselves. So you, you, you connect the problem that you identify to a solution and whether people really need those solutions. And if they need the solutions, will they be ready to pass value for it? That is how you begin to connect it. That is how you begin to connect. Okay, so then um, I have Holali watching us online, and um, Holali says that he he's enjoying it. He's watching us from Spintex. Thank you very much, Spintex. Uh, Holali, Holali. <laughs> Holali. So you, we have uh, we we've 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 found a, an issue in the problem, a, an, a problem in the society. But um, I've I've heard of this issue where um, the problem is there but you may not know how big or how small because if you have a small problem will you will you make money out of solving a small problem okay so uh, there are you, you ask yourself the problem you may dis discover is very small mm -hmm. but is that can it be those problems are they found in other places okay okay does it have a, a expandable a scope yeah are people in other places also facing the same problem? Though it's tiny in mm -hmm. my community, mm -hmm. are people having similar issues? So it, it, you begin to go down into research. So if you look at the uh, design thinking process, we have something we, we, we call the empathize. The empathize means that you begin to look into what relates with people. Are others facing the same issues? If I do it here, can I do it in another place? If yes, it means that you have a business, though it's tiny here, but it can go global, it can go places. Should I, therefore, I see that I can solve the problem in, let's say, three communities. Yes. But I, another community has not the same problem, but a similar problem. Is it wise, as a beginner, who hasn't, who is, who is still looking at the idea, I haven't even tested the prototype that I'll bring to the market, is it wise for me to say, okay, so I'll add the people who have the, the other problem to, to, to these people. So let's say this is A, and then the second group, this is A, B. Should I, and then maybe I have a, a B, C. I found another problem that has B, C. Should I ch join those three communities, or is it better to focus only on problem A? 
at the early stage of your uh, ideation process, mm -hmm. if you expand your scope, something can scare you yourself that you may not even want to start it. So we tell people to fo focus on where you have begun the problem. Begin to work around that area and begin to see. First, of, the, the most important thing is to identify that, oh, other people have it somewhere. It means that you have it in mind that someday, even those ones that are a little similar, you can be able to innovate around it to also suit their own. But for the first stages, make sure that you concentrate, you put your eye on the ball and concentrate on that small area and begin to grow from there. Otherwise, at that early stage, you cannot kind of begin to solve the problem of Ghana. But a time will come, you'll even be able to solve the problem of the whole Africa. But at the early stage, think about your small community, think about your small area. We call it a niche. Okay. So okay. when you become in a business, you call it a niche. You create a small niche and begin to work within. And as you begin to uh, get conversant with it, you become so good at it that now you can be able to expand to other places. Excellent. So you are the, your, 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 this thing is that first go around your community yeah. or what are, that, what, are that, uh, what are that ways of finding ideas? So is it just a community that I, I can get this thing, um, I, an idea from? Or? Not, not only the community, you okay. see, when you travel, let's say I travel to um, South Africa, I travel to Zambia, mm -hmm. and I see something unique that they are doing. Then I come home and say, look, this thing can be done in Ghana. Okay. So why don't I start from here? Okay. Then you begin to, so uh, traveling and all that also provides some form of uh, leverage for you. Okay, so um, I have traveled, but I'm not, a, let's say, a computer scientist. Yeah. Doesn't my skill have any coloration with the, um, the needs that I, I find in the, in, the, in the community? Because if you take Jeffany, for instance, he's a young, yeah. young girl. But she's found a niche whereby, as a young person, she can use her voice to talk to people her age. So that is, she has a particular skill to match that. Doesn't the skill the person have, have any, any, any um, role to play in the solution that you come up with or the, or the idea that you come up with? It, it does. Okay. Uh, there are certain skills you may have, the more there are others you can learn. Now, the skill you will have really play a role. Do you have the skill, that idea that you have identified, do you have the skill to be able to begin providing the solution? If you have the skill, you are already one step ahead in providing that solution. Let me give a scenario, uh, and mm -hmm. I'm sure our friend from Sprinters who is watching us, Holali, uh, Holali will, 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 will make, but this is from Kumase. Okay. Okay, so the, this woman we discovered. Okay. And she said, look, I have a fantastic idea. Won't you guys find me? I said, let's hear you out. And there are three things you must meet for us to know that the idea is good. Number one, the idea should be something that is unique and viable and is solving a particular need. Number two, the idea should be something that is sustainable. Mm -hmm. Number three, it should be profitable and create jobs for others. Yeah. And said so the woman said, okay, listen to me. Look, in Kumase, Fumra is our thing. <laughs> but some people, because they put the body in the mug for a long time, the empathy that comes with it by the time we are buried is gone, so they are not able to cry. And I can assure you, as a widow myself, I, I can cry at people's funerals and they will pay me for it. We said, Really? He said, You wait and see. So she did the prototype, uh -huh, did the test market herself. The test market of going to other people's funerals, that doesn't even concern her. She got there and she started crying. And she cries a bit. And she got the skill of crying. And because she got the skill of crying, when she got that idea, it becomes easier for her. And today, she's in business. She's in business? She's in full business. Every Friday to Sunday, she now has two vans that vans. carry her workers. No, 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 tell me something. Vans. Uh -huh. And now there are a, a rates for crying. You see, she has three rates. When okay. she comes to your funeral, mm -hmm. the one that she cries, would mm -hmm. uh, at the funeral ground, that one goes for uh, 500 CDs per hour. Per hour? Yes, they cry in hours. <laughs> ah, Jesus is Lord. Tell us more. Then uh, the one uh, that goes with crying and lying on the caskets, you know, that goes for 1,000 CDs an hour. Then the one that you follow the casket even to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, to the, the burial ground. ground. And, and four on the casket goes for 2,000. 
Okay, and this is how, and she, you know, the people she employs, hmm. she employs widows. Okay. And these people already have the uh, memory the of grief. their of their husbands. The their so it's easier for they don't rub any rubs in their eye. They get there and they are automatically crying. And she has done this over the years, and now she employs close to nineteen people. So she's got the scalability. She, yes, she's got the scalability. She's able to employ people. Yes, and the business is sustainable. That's... People will never stop dying. <laughs> the business is sustainable, yes. you know. And, 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 and so that is, that is where you have an idea that you can move from the ideation, ideation stage, stage to into, actually yes. roll out a product. Yes, so skill is important. So skill is important. It's important. Yeah. If you don't have it, okay. and you have the idea, identify somebody who has the skill and say, look, you are an IT-oriented person. We need to solve this problem, which is IT-oriented. And such a person, you need to be able to come into partnership with. Later, mm -hmm. when we are building systems, we'll talk about it. Yeah. And that is how you begin to form the teams and get the right people that you can be able to partner to work on different ideas with. Wow. Wow. Right. So um, um, you, you've, you've been able to find that niche. You found um, that you have the skill. Is there anything else that would help you to get this idea that you have in your mind to come to the market, to meet the need of the market? Yes, sometimes you have to ask yourself that, do I have mentors in the system who can help me? Mm -hmm. To be able to, because sometimes when you get an idea and you're able to conceptualize and see the idea, if you don't have people to direct you, mentor you, and provide the right networking framework for you, it's difficult for you to be able to live uh, 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 step, stage one to move to stage two. Okay. So now you have seen the ideas, you have the skill. You need some mentoring. You, you need some form of uh, 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 networking to be able to help you to push up the idea that you have. Mentoring here means somebody that have gone through the path we are trying to go before or is experienced and have the acumen to be able to direct you and say, oh, this idea is good, but this is how to go about it. This helps you to be able to reduce your failure rate. There are people who start something, they don't consult anybody to seek ideas, to seek their opinion that uh, this is how I want to go. Because people are scared of that man. This manufacturer, in my idea, he will steal the idea. So that makes people to coil in their shelves and say, I'll do it alone. But you need some form of uh, mentorship, some networking. That is why at NEIP, for instance, what we do is that once you come that you have discovered this idea, we help you through the process to save it. And the right one, we put you into an incubator. You know, an incubator nests uh, the, the chicken, the chicks, to be able to grow. The same way we have an incubator for businesses. So we put you in the between three to three weeks to six months, depending on how your level of maturity and understanding, then we help you to be able to nurture. It's part of mentoring process. So your idea can come up for you to be able to go to the market. Okay. Right, so um, listeners, if you look on, this, on the screen right now, I have a little screenshot for you. And I have the, the feature, the product, and the company. Now, there's a little piece for you. If you could do it on the, on the, on, on the various platforms, I'll be grateful. The first one says that you have uh, messaging. Is, can we create a product or a company from this? Or photo sharing, or checking in, or directly, directory, which... Which, which um, company or product can we, product, can, we, can we get out of this? Do send your I, I answers and would, and would, and would um, let, sh give you a shout out about that. So messaging, photo sharing, checking or directory. They'll send it on the, on the feed as well. Fantastic. So whilst we are doing that, I have to um, um, add this one. You're saying that um, availability, availability of mentors is really key to see if it's possible. Yeah. And that's where NEIP has a, an ideation. Yeah. Um, an incubation center. An incubation center, sorry. Yeah. And, then you, and, then, and then I think there's one more thing yes. that we really need to, to make sure. Which is very key. Yeah. Okay. So once you, have, you, you think through the idea, you have gone through your community, you have done the needs assessment and all that, you have discovered the problem, you have the skill to do the thing, and uh, you have mentors to mentor you. Now what next? Mm -hmm. Do you have a good market? Okay. Do you have that idea that you have discovered? Do you have people who are ready to pay value? Is there a market for that product or service you want to venture in? 
If there's no market, you're as well as good as uh, going back to bed. Otherwise, you'll be working in vain. So market, a good market is important for you to be able to begin to uh, put your ideas to bear. Because once I know that, look, this product that I have here, mm -hmm. when, when we started uh, produ product, uh, producing this product, we had to do a market uh, survey okay. to ensure that will people be ready to pay value for a fresh juice? Yeah. Be very, very yeah. Paper. Um, it's, it's a very lovely juice. Um, today, you, our juice is, 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 is one that um, um, Franklin produces himself. So yeah. this one, we know that he, he hasn't drank it yet, so, but he has to drink <laughs> it, it so it, that we'll it, know it, that. So this is pineapple? <laughs> this is pineapple, okay. okay. And, and if pineapple? you may say so yourself. Yeah, this pineapple <laughs> has a back cover okay. uh, included, the okay. pop. Okay. It's included okay. in... Uh, in processing okay mm. okay when we discovered it we have to be sure that there's market for it yeah if there's no market for it we have gone nowhere yeah so yeah. that is very key don't just be excited and be passionate about an idea if it has no market value okay don't just be excited about it the woman realized that there's market value for her crying yeah so she moved in there and she's making money i tell you I have personally have done about six recommendations for persons who are in abroad. They have relation who passed. And they said, frankly, we had to talk about those women. Can you give us uh, contacts? People are calling here from every part of Fantastic. the world. Fantastic. Actually, I, 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 got, I got this. Um, I got something from um, Harvard Innovation Hub. And um, can, you, can you kindly show it to us, this thing about the, the market, what the market looks like, and um, what problem are you solving, yeah. and how significant is that problem? Yeah. If you are not able to answer this question, what value are you bringing to the market? Yeah. Forget it. If there's no value, there is absolutely no market and there'll be no um, idea to worth, worth investing yeah. in and therefore with that listeners ladies and gentlemen we go to the game changer for today what does jojo have for us tonight <laughs> Which is faster, an SUV or a keke? The SUV, right? Wrong. In most scenarios, you'd be correct, just not this one. You see, we were stuck in heavy traffic, and after 10 minutes, we had barely moved. Bored, I looked into the empty oncoming traffic lane only to see a woman driving a keke. Granted, she was in the wrong lane, but in no time, she had passed us and was on her merry way. Today, our game changer is niching. Nine times out of ten, because we want to make as many sales as possible, we target the broadest market available. But here's the thing, the one person who targets a specific niche usually outperforms the nine. Don't believe me? Here's an example. Hi, I sell phone cases. Hi, I sell phone cases to help you comfortably hold your phone for hours without wrist pain. The second one sounds a thousand times better, right? That's because it's speaking directly to you. And that's the power of niching. Broad marketing is like the traffic lane. Lots of competitors selling similar products to the same clients. It's choked. Niching is like driving in the opposite lane. It's unconventional, so few people do it. But it gets your message to the right people quickly. So here are a few tips to find the perfect niche. Step 1. Determine the ideal customer. Step 2. Find the key problem they face. And step three, focus your message on how you solve it best. This week, leave the crowded lane to the rest and find your niche. This has been The Game Changer with Jojo Okren. Have a phenomenal week. This, that was Jojo Okran giving us a phenomenal thing about making sure that you niche. And that is what we've been talking about, yeah. I mean, in our ideation process. Yeah. That you have discovered an, an issue in the, in the society. And you know that, the, I mean, if you are able to bring something to market, it's good. But then you think that you have A1 or B1. And you realize that the, if, as you do it, you are spreading yourself it's all okay, over yeah. and you don't do it. What um, do you what, what what would be your comment about the game changer for today? That that is a, a a good game changer. You know there are people running around, but you can spot 
one place mm -hmm. and just move to that direction. Everybody will be in the maze, you know, mm -hmm. but by the time you realize you are getting a, a, a value for what you are doing. So don't just do every, what everyone does. Just create a niche for yourself. I remember uh, there's this lady who came in and said, look, um, I, I don't have a job, but I've discovered something I want to do. I want to shop for people, busy corporate women. And that was her target. So she started with the, uh, those in the bank, those in the other offices. She goes there, take the uh, uh, grocery shopping list. She goes there, do the shopping, put it in the carts, and bring it to the banking hall. Then, okwa, tomiso, tomiso, becomes a baggage for the day. And she has <laughs> her own shopping for the day. Now, today, uh, it has become a whole thing. Fantastic. Yes, we have this lady, she's in command school, doing the Kaya app. Okay. Now yeah. she has, so it's Kaya. Yeah. So yeah. she has turned into an app. Yeah. And that's, that's grocery shopping. Actually, I, he's, she's beat me to it. Because recently when I went to Agogloshi, I was like, ah, please Kaya cry if I, if I should put something together where when you get, because sometimes you have to look for it. They come yeah. to your car, but sometimes you're not sure about how good they are, yeah. how um, trustworthy they are. There's somebody who has done all that already. Yes, all that already. And, and, and just tells me that I'll arrive here, I'll be there. The person is waiting for me, does it for me. Yes. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I would have to network. So the yeah. commercial lady, please come and see us and let's see, let's see how we can do this. In I, I'll, I'll surely get your content. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's, it, 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 you need to be able to create a niche for yourself. When we came in with the Jews, we realized that, look, Blue Skies is already big in the market. Mm -hmm. We cannot compete mm -hmm. at our rate. Mm -hmm. So let's create a niche for ourselves. Yeah. So we decided to find a portion of the market and save. When you find a portion of the market and you are serving diligently, you make as good money as somebody who is running around trying to serve everybody. They even end up not doing much. <laughs> so you need to create a niche for yourself and that becomes uh, a, 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 an avenue for you to begin to become relevant in the marketplace. That becomes an avenue for you to build and become relevant in the marketplace. Um, per our feedback from um, our um, 10 attributes of an entrepreneur, we had people who 46% um, of them um, were very good at uh, opportunity seeking. We had people who were the 38% were very persistent. Um, 50, 61% were committed. Mm -hmm. uh, the demand for efficiency was, um, the highest was uh, four, uh, I'm sorry, um, level four, which was 53%. Yeah. Then taking calculated risk again, we had uh, level four was there, was the, um, um, the most common. Goal setting was spread across the yeah. divide. And so we had uh, five. Um, we had 38%, that was five. And then we also had three. So that means our goal setting wasn't very yes. well, P well P honed out. Yeah. And that is where ideation is important. is important. Because if we are able to create those ideas and we have particular um, landmarks or, 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 or checkpoints that we say we need to get to this point or we need to have this in place, it will help us. Information seeking too was very well, something that people seem to be well yeah. developed that. So um, if we are going through this and you have good ideas and you seek information, a lot of information, and I can assure you, you can see some slides that we are sharing from both um, 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 Franklin and the Harvard um, Ideation Hub, which tells you that it's there on the internet for us to, to, to use it. And so it's possible for us. Um, um, Benjamin Obeng, you said that you, what actions, with the question, what action do you take during this um, program and after to put everything that is put in place, that is taught to us there? And I'm very grateful for that, um, Benjamin. And then uh, Stan, Stan Dogwave, you're a female. You said you, more, you will read more about personal development. I loved Indeed. that. Yeah. I loved that. And then Ransford, you said that, um, I'm, I'm eager to keep attention without m missing any aspect of our workshop. And you hope that you would exercise the knowledge required. I mean, this tells us that not only were you interacting with what we're doing, yeah. but you, 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 you took um, a very keen interest in that. We'll have another quiz for you after this program. You've seen the, uh, we have uh, this thing as well, a, a short video for you as well about how to take advantage of the, the 10,000. Let me repeat that. 
ten thousand as a ten thousand price at the end of this program. So please call your friends. If you think you have a viable idea, or maybe you didn't even have an idea, but today we've talked about ideation. Yeah. We've looked at how um, we can do this. And then I have um, on the slide right now a friction-free slippery products or niche, which um, 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 I'll, um, Jojo talked about. So first, let it be simple. Yeah. Have a low or to no, no initial, initial cost. cost. Nothing yeah. that is that will take too much of your funds. If you have something small, it means that you can easily do it. Bring it to market. Install it. Something that can be done easily, and then you can say that I'm solving a problem in the society, and therefore you have the value yeah. for it. This um, juice, for instance, solves a problem in the society because yeah. it's fresh. Yes. It is. It is done very, very, non, very, very easily. Yeah, non-carbonated. Non what? Non-carbonated. It, it's not carbonated. It's also very small bottles, yeah. so it, it, you are able to use it um, in various party settings quickly. Yes. And based on that, you can see the value yeah. that we here get you know, from it. Mm -hmm. with, with, with the slippery uh, concept. Yeah. Uh, when when uh, after national service mm -hmm. and. We know we tried our first business and it failed. So what can I do? So I said, look, I'm trained Bachelor of Commerce, BCom. I have an accounting and finance background. Yeah. So I started something. Okay. I discovered that the market women in KJTR, Edum, they were not po keeping proper books of accounts. Thank you. So I carry my laptop. That is simple. Yes. There was no initial cost. Because you had the laptop. Yes. I was working. Mm -hmm. I walked to them. I told them that look. GRA is giving you a fixed stamp. They don't know whether you are making profit or not, but you are paying the taxes. I can prepare your books for you. And I then the man, when they come, show them your book that you are not making a profit within two years. I had 150 clients. Each person pays me only 100 CDs a month. 100 CDs a month? No, it installs easily. It installs easily. It puts value quickly. Plays well with others. It is easy to use. Road was obvious, and my customer can the live with it. ROI is return on investment. Yes. Uh -huh. And my customers can't live without it because now they were getting value. Uh, now they were able to boldly uh -huh. face GRA. Now yeah. look, these are my books of account. This is my asset. This is my profits and loss for the year. This month, I didn't make any profits. I am not paying you a dime. Now they had books to speak to. And that made me to open my first consulting firm. And I generated value from this, money from this, to produce this because this is capital intensive a little bit exactly. you need some machinery but you may say that i have nothing but i have to use the slippery process to be able to generate some form of income yeah to go into the one that is a bit capital intensive so there are businesses you can start with no money this one you can start with no money zero when you tell people they said what business do we start with no money yes the laptop i was using in the university that's what i used to start <laughs> and can you imagine 150 people paying me 100 CDs? Oh, I can imagine. It means that at the end of the month, I, I, I was making 15,000. 15K with, with, with little stress, but, but with, so, with, just, with just walking. Just walking. That's your investment. Just walking. And, and the walking is good for you because it, it, keeps, it keeps you healthy. By the time I was getting into my third year, the mm -hmm. numbers were overwhelming. So I rented a small office space mm -hmm. and employed people. Value was coming. Within a short, I was having five guys working with me. And a consulting firm has been born through working. Just a slippery ground door, but it paid for it. I see Game Changer being validated here. I see um, I have love being validated here. I see people saying that, ah, it's possible. What idea do I have? I want you to not just think of the idea. I want you to start dreaming with us. And at the end of today's session, there'll be another form for you to, or another, you know, quiz for you to do so that we can, we can, we can be getting to, um, to you. I have, for, for those who, want, who are interested in the 10,000 Ghana CD prize, it's simple. Can you tell us, Rich, uh, Franklin? Well, uh, uh, as part of the process to get people excited about this, we are giving out, it's a grant. You mm -hmm. don't have to pay back 10,000. It's 000. a grant. Yes. 10,000 cities free. Yes, grant. Can I? Can I? Uh, no, you cannot apply for it. It's a grant okay. for our uh, ardent viewers. Yes. For them, and just do a one minute voice okay. with your phone. Tell us. Video, oh, yes. one video, don't you? Yes, video. Okay. One video, uh, 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 a short one minute video. Tell us uh, what 
your idea is about, the idea as part of the ideation process, what you have discovered, which problem you are solving, and how uh, that problem, whether it's marketable, do you have a market for it? Just tell us these few things. First of all, uh, this is the idea, this is the problem the idea is solving, that's the solution that you are providing, then it's sustainable. The sustainability, and it's a profitable business venture, there's a market for it. If there's a market for your idea, tell us about it, and we'll be glad to be able to accept it. When you finish, uh, we'll do, if we get very good competitive ideas at the same level, we'll do the picking from here. We'll do the picking from yeah, here. Right, live, uh, live, live, show. live and colored. Yes. Right. You, you, you guys, you, you, we, we are so privileged, you know. So I have um, um, John Akwe saying that, good evening, I'm John in watching from Dakuman. And he has a question for you. Okay. He says that, is it okay to start business just because someone is doing it and is going well? Oh, and that, John, that, that, that's something that people kind of say, oh, yeah. this person is doing it, I'll, I'll do it. Is it jo good? John Akwe, uh, good to hear from you from Dakuman. And, and you see, we call it bandwagon businesses. <laughs> <laughs> and that way, when businesses do not, most of them survive. Don't do it because others are doing. Their intuition may be different. The understanding of the business may be different from you. So if you do it because you think that people are buying, sometimes you see people buying, but they go home, they are crying. Oh. They are not making any profit from what they are doing. So you need to be able to go through the process yourself. Begin to identify the problem. Begin to see about the problem. Begin to put yourself in. Do you have the skill in net yourself? That's why some people, you see them selling watches today. In two weeks, they are doing koko and mm -hmm, katie. Mm -hmm. The next time you come, they are selling chalewete. Because they are not consistent. The idea is not coming from them. They only follow a bandwagon business. So, uh, John uh, from Dakuman, don't follow the trend. Just be your own man. The thing is, Find if people want your idea, yeah. if your idea has enough market, yeah. what the problem is solving, yeah. and what value your client is getting from you. There's this concept where they talk about the pain gain. Um, um, Matthew, do we have that slide available, the pain and the gain um, there? So that if people use, I mean, for instance, um, um, my, 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 my daughter said, I have a headache. And so I, yeah, he has, she, I have the option of giving her either paracetamol or vitamin. If I give her the paracetamol, will it help her or will it not help her? If I give her vitamin A, will it help her or will it not help her? Which one do you think she, she will value more after using it? So your idea that you have, your clients that you're thinking about, will they come to you and say, that's idea that 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 that, pro, that idea that you're bringing to me i beg you when are you starting it yeah. is it possible to get something like that yeah. where you 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 get you you go to someone and you tell them that oh i'm thinking of doing this and then um, the person says and when are you starting is it possible yes as, as soon as they hear something now this is the game changer mm -hmm. that's something i guess you tell people i said yes i i know that we we'll need, we'll need this one so all of, they, 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 they they catch the vision quickly and said my friend you have to be on your way and so, is it possible to ask them to give us some money for the idea? Yes, for those people. Yeah. You can, those are the people we call the uh, family, friends, and fools. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, they are going to be your first in, in investors in your yeah. business. Yeah. Look, I'm ready. I just need some small 10,000 Ghana cities and I'll be on my way. Say, so, sure, why not? Because they are excited about the idea with you, they are ready to uh, uh, put their skin in the game. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's how uh, any investor, you know, people usually do not invest in the idea. They invest in the people behind the idea. Okay. They see your enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. They see the commitment level, which we saw that a number of people are beginning to be committed to the things they want to do. Mm -hmm. When they, they, they see this kind of thing, they say, look, I'm going to put in the money because of you. Because they believe in you that you'll be able to bring that idea to bear. Okay. Um, Ekua La Grazia Nyamejima says thank you invaluable nuggets of wisdom thank you Akia. thank you Akia. <laughs> so we are rolling on we are rolling on and there's so much that we have to do today okay so um we we have so we have three things that four things that i, I want us to to i mean to lay close that Number one, we have identified uh, a pair of uh, uh, needs in the market. We've looked yeah. at what needs are available in the market. We've looked at what skills they are available. Yeah. We've also looked at if there are mentors or training yeah. 
possible? And then is the market big enough? Sure. Or is it good, good enough, enough for us to be successful in that market? So then uh, we would have a, a questionnaire for, uh, not a, it's just, it's just a, small, it's a small exercise for them. Small exercise. We're just yeah. going to ask you, list some opportunities that you could research further in your community. Yes. What are the needs in your community? community. What are your skills? Yeah. Do you know people in that particular field who could possibly mentor you? Yeah. If you don't have somebody in that field, but there are people in that area, well, I mean, within that, that, that um, um, idea area, can they, can they mentor you? Do they have the opportunity to help you? And then how big is your market? And your market, as we have discovered or we have discussed earlier, your market, you must drill it down yeah. so, so well that you know that um, these are the people who will be part of that market. Let's take that idea from the Kumasi lady who is doing either the funerals or the, um, uh, the, grocery, the shopping. grocery shopping or the um, uh, um, Kaya app. Yeah. It was very specific. It doesn't yes. target those who go to ShopRite or it targets those who go to the, to the market. market. Yeah, to the market. And Ghanaians, we shop from the market. We, we don't shop a lot from the, no, no, the ShopRite and the no, bigger no, malls. No, we don't. We, we like to Yeah, um, keep Want our... to see our tomatoes with the flies around <laughs> No, no, no. No, that's now, not the, now, no, now, that is not the reason. Yes, now, you know, now, uh, even with that place, they are beginning to really innovate around it. Mm -hmm. I was in, uh, 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 how do we call it, uh, the Mokola area. Yeah. And the way some of the women are now beginning to even package their pepper, their tomatoes. They are in Ziploc and they, they ensure that they are well arranged and well packed. Yes. And people are beginning to uh, innovate around these things. Yes. And yes. And, and you can imagine. Yes. And you can imagine that they'll then be able to, help to, to, to meet people who like the way they have packaged yes. their ideas, so they, 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 they are, their products, yeah. and, and they'll buy more from them. Hey, Frank. <laughs> Frankly, don't do that to us. So we, we, just because we, it's, 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 it's the, the value, the, the price is better. Yeah, it's the price is better. It's cheaper there. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, bet, it's yes. not cheaper. It is more affordable. <laughs> 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 they, they, they don't weigh the tomatoes for you. No, no, they don't weigh the, the tomatoes for you. You can okay. pick and choose which one you want to carry home. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right. So, um, um, Franklin, I would like you to um, give us some quick tips about how to um, 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 meet people. It will, does research help in any way in, in ideation? Yeah, re research really helps. Sometimes it's not so much of elaborate research like the universities would do. Sometimes simple uh, uh, interview of people. Oh, you know, we want to do this thing. Will you be happy? And for me, our churches are the best uh, 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 grounds for t uh, testing your products. You know, I, I go to ICGC, I've developed this fantastic product. You can, I can do 500 bottles and say, oh, today, close of church Sunday. Everyone, there's a free juice for you here. Drink and give us your comments. It's a form of research. Okay, okay. So okay. people bring the cup. Look, the juice you gave me the last time. It was really good. It gives you that, nah, there's market value for it. Okay. So this is how you begin to, uh, any part of the business, begin to spend something. Begin to open up your arms to be able to test run the idea or the service you want to offer. And that's how you meet people. Oh, this is what I'm doing. So you're talking about networking as well. Yes, it's, it's also a means of networking. So you, you need that. But people in our churches, sometimes they close and... They just pick their their, but a lot of people that people will pay to see them are within the they sit even close, close to you. them. In, in, I know. When they are close, they pick their back and they are gone. So begin to get to know everyone in your church. Get to know the businesses they do. Approach them. Use at least one month you can do every day. Every Sunday you do 
uh, uh, 20 people, mm -hmm. you, you end up meeting close to over 100 people. Mm -hmm. Just interview, and they will ask you, so what do you do? Then you begin to also sell your idea. Oh, this is, I'm a full-time worker, but I'm beginning to start some small uh, uh, meat pie, and this is how it is. Next Sunday, I'll bring you some food for you to taste. And this is how we begin to get going. <laughs> okay, so a quick question from Holali. Holali says that, what of those who are already in business and need financial support, please? I think he's talking about the the um, 10,000 innovation price. Well, those people, what we'll do for them, mm -hmm. uh, if you see that your idea has really advanced, we'll pick you up, uh, we'll put you into our program, and uh, you go through our incubation process. And uh, we have an acceleration program as well. So, so when we open the call, there will be a way for you. Yours will be, you, uh, 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 you'll be one step ahead of others. Uh, so okay, okay. So it, there's, there's for hope you. for the future, as yes. the Lord always sees. Yeah. There's hope for the future. But this was quite 10,000 for <laughs> those, the beginners. The beginners, those yeah. who are now have an idea. So please tell your friends who may be in this category to, to tune in and be part of it. Mm. Final, your final words before we close. So today's has been very, very fast. Yes. And so, to the, I mean, final well, let's words. Let's tell ideas are bound. Okay. Ideas are bound. Don't close your mind. Open up. When you train your mind to see opportunities, you will see them plenty. But when you lock your mind off, you may think that nothing exists. So let's open up our minds. There are problems in our communities. They are not just problems. Don't complain. Stop complaining and see them as money. See them as solutions that you are going to provide for your people. And I'm sure we all begin to be in business. Thank you. Thank you so much, Franklin, for hanging out with us today. And then thank you to the technical team for being so great. We, before we leave, we we'll would see the video um, inviting us to, to take part in the challenge. And as I said, at the end of the six-week um, 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 program, or at the end of the six-week edition of the Springboard Hangout, one person will be selected as the winner of a 10,000 prize that will be given to as or that person from the National Enterprise and Innovation Program. We have been hanging out with Franklin Owusu Karakari, who is their business development um, director. Yeah. Um, until we come your way, don't forget Sunday, Israel Live is going to be on the Springboard Virtual University. And as well, we'll be showing the repeat of this program on ETV at 5 p.m. Don't be left out and don't forget to, to be part of the ideation program. We have a short quiz for you, which we'll put in the chat as well. Please fill that chat and we'll be continue to get ideas from you all. Until we come your way next week. Have a phenomenal week. Enjoy yourself. Jesus is always Lord. Blessings. Peace. I'm out. It was great seeing you today on the Springboard Hangouts. We have an opportunity for you to make some money and put into your business. If you want to win this opportunity, just do one minute video of your business idea or a business that you have and tell us how the business is, how the business is solving a particular problem, and how you are making money or you are going to make money from that business idea. Send it to our WhatsApp line 024-9999555. If you have any information or you want to make more inquiries about how to make the short video, you can call the same line and they will help you. So long